Let's see how many weapons we can combine into one. I've also removed a whole bunch more upgrades that don't do anything that helps damage. Because damage is all we really need. I just want to walk into a room and have everything die immediately. So the first step is going to be finding a gun. These are both really tempting because here we get a gun, but here we get the battle pass, which means the more coins we have, the more bullets we shoot. So I'm really conflicted. I think we're probably going to find lots of guns along the way, so let's take the battle pass. And here's a gun anyway in pretty much next room. So now we're firing two bullets anyway and if we find more coins, that's going to be four bullets. And all this damage cannot work against us. I think some of the bullets I'm firing are also homing bullets, so that's going to make my job a lot easier because I like to be lazy. And I definitely need to be doing the challenge rooms because we're going to get all sorts of upgrades for our gun. Should gun be plural there? Because I guess we're going to be combining a whole bunch into one. That was really close. Okay, so there we go. We got an upgrade for our guns. Gun, whatever it is. This is kind of a strange room. Uh, our very adequate damage should carry us right through with a little issue though. All I want are lots of coins and lots of guns. Between those two, we'll be set. We can kill the big thing super quick, so that's a good sign. I didn't want to do the meter thing. I just wanted to look at what gun it was. I also forgot that uh, I don't have a lot of money yet. Maybe this chest will help me with that. Well, we got more keys. Now to see if we can kill Tick. Ow. Walked right into that. Uh, yeah, our damage is so good so far that we can just melt him pretty much instantly. Very little effort required. I think on this, I'm gonna take gun damage. I would probably be wise to take extra hearts considering the more time I combine guns, the more damage I take. Uh, but of course, most of the items here are damage boosting because I banned all the ones that would increase toughness. Oh, I didn't know I could do that, so I've increased all the guns together, plus I get the gas mask. So I've got three guns in one already. So damage-wise, I think we're well ahead of the curve by now. Anything that comes near us is going to be uh, evaporated. For rooms like this with guys like that would normally be a little stressful because they're quite tough, but our damage carried us right on through. I might end up hitting that. I guess it's not really going to matter at this point because it's not going to start my meter as long as I don't physically touch it. As you get further in, it is going to get a little bit more stressful though because I'm just going to have to dodge more things. And with how brittle I am already, that's going to get nervous. Uh, and I guess once my bullets get going, that's when I really get all the damage going out, because right now it's already just like a stream of doom. I wonder if that means... No, nope, we're just firing away now, so I guess that has to do with the amount of money I have and my power up. Definitely want the gold coin and whatever's in there. A challenge room with this firepower should be really easy. As long as I just keep moving and stay away from those things, nothing can get anywhere close to us right now. Ow. Ow. Right, well that was messy, but there is even more weapon damage, so I'm just feeling way too confident. Okay, now we gotta fight McTucky. Uh, given the amount of bullets we fire, not gonna be a problem. They're already half dead and dead. That might be a record for me. Now, as I said, I want more hearts right now. And this is only three guns. This is going to get so stupid. Gotta remember not to sit directly below anything. And look at my box clearing ability. A little room can be stressful, but with the amount of bullets we fire, th everything just dies immediately. We have the kind of bullet spread to really cover the whole everything, really. I'd almost forgotten about shield entirely, but we've got some now. So next we get Szechuan sauce or combat helmet. We're going to take the combat helmet. Whoops. Uh, the more shields you have, the more bullets your weapon shoots. So, <laughs> even more bullets. That basically also means the, uh, the tougher I get, the more damage I do anyways. Right, we're gonna try and stay up a little bit higher this time, because the floor is lava and it's very dangerous. You can die, we have more waves coming in. Okay, whatever you are, please die, you die, you die. You die. And then I think we're gonna get a little more damage on top of everything. At 69 coins, we fire this many bullets. That seems like a lot. And these exploding uh, golden bullets can actually fire through walls, so that makes it even easier for me. I haven't had a lot of pets hatch yet, and I'm not really that worried about that. They can be kind of amusing, and they'll probably start to hatch. Then they'll probably last a long time, because uh, enemies tend to not last a long time. And yeah, every room pretty much goes like that. And then again, the more shields I get, the more bullets I fire. Pretty soon I'm just going to be firing in a giant circle around me. Uh, I just realized I do also have a pet. It's a furry little lion or something close to it. I know this one can drop me money, but um, I kind of just rather have him die rather than milk him for money because money is damage and I need all my shields for toughness. Can I have a heart? Was there a heart? I can't believe it doesn't want to give me a heart. We'll just take more bullets fired then. I can never have too many of those. Well, the laser is obviously going to complicate this challenge room by quite a bit. Uh, hopefully we can just kind of keep everything far enough away that damage stays away from us. So far so good. Okay, that was a bit of a scary spot. That's also a scary spot. There is a strategy to what I'm doing. As chaotic as it might look, that's a bad spot. We're okay though. A panicked chaos. Pretty much everything I do. What level is my gun? Level 5 already? All my guns, I should say. There's a whole bunch of them in here already. I accidentally <laughs> just touched the red meter, so that's fine. That started the red meter going, but we'll make do with that. We're still firing plenty of bullets, and we're just going to take a strength badge for more gun damage. 
The bigger the bullets are, the more damage they do, and obviously they're getting big. So this extra damage, I'm sure it makes a difference. Everything was dying so quickly anyway that it wouldn't make a huge difference. Had another pet hatch. He's going to do some damage because we obviously weren't doing enough of that so far. Uh, that's a really, well, I got the big coin at least. I don't want to drop in there. This room makes me nervous because I have to ride on a bouncy elevator, so I'm a little bit vulnerable while I'm sitting there. Luckily, my damage just kind of carried me through, and we have a little monkey along with our furry lion. And I guess while I'm at it now, whoops, never mind. I do need to get rid of this meter at some point, so I'll probably just take it all the way through one way or another. So that means I'll stop at the shop and turn my meter to purple and uh, get a smart upgrade rather than one that's going to make me even more vulnerable to damage. I would also like that purple chest, so if things could not spawn in for a second, there we go. We'll do a purple meter. And I shot this store thing by accident because I fire so many bullets. So, so much for that plan. It's really painful being this stupid. Oh good, another purple chest I could probably shoot like six times. Pretty sure I can navigate this though because I can just sit here. Oh, it's going to be hard to get the... Can I believe this? That was close. Okay, please open this. There we are. Now we just need to make it out of here without taking damage, which isn't going to be that hard. But as per usual, I can make it look hard. Okay, what boss are we going to melt now? Charlie, the god of pills. Hi, Charlie. I hope you like damage. Didn't mean to get hit, but Charlie is dead. Give me that heart. Gotta make sure it's a heart. Okay, I... Like I said, it's painful being this stupid. I guess shields really are better than hearts overall anyway, but that's also a non-point right now. But my purple meter also dissipated. So I'm assuming that happened after the boss fight. I can't remember how that works. I don't care. I can't remember what that is either. I think it's okay to take that? Well, I'm carrying it now, and there's a battery, which is the chance to fire an electric bullet along with our other chance to fire bullets we already have. So we're firing all sorts of elements out there, so the enemies get a bit of everything. I would really like to get to that store without blowing anything up, so if we could just nicely do that for once in my life. Oh, I can't start the purple meter now, though. I've already lost it. So that's fine. We'll just be about our day. These homing bullets actually work really well. Like, I can hit things from way over here, even. I don't know which one of my guns is doing that, but I like it. Combine that with all the other guns we got, and uh, we got a good run going. Uh, we also got another one of these that made a question mark on the map. I don't know what just hurt me. I walked into this room, and suddenly all my shields are gone. So we're going to fire less bullets for a while, which doesn't feel very good. I think I can trade these guys. Like, he can have an egg, so I'll get a shield back. You want some more eggs? You can have all the eggs. I don't even like these things. You can even have the pets if you want. You can just kill them. Ooh, there we go. Terry. We're also going to have Terry involved in our gun. So we're going to take more damage, but uh, we should be firing extra bullets in there somewhere, I think. This floor is really stressful because there's bouncy elevators everywhere and teleporting idiots trying to get me at every corner. But we did it. Finally, another item room. Colorful crown sounds fun. There's a chance your bullet will create beautiful fireworks. Well, there's a lot of bullets going on, so there should be a lot of fireworks. I... Okay, that's fine. I shot that thing, but that thing doesn't matter. I was just admiring the fireworks that tend to fire. After firing a few shots, the fireworks show up afterwards and do extra, extra damage. We're at Argus. Of course we are. This is the one I always lose track of, then everyone laughs at me. So, we'll just shoot Argus's little laser beams, pretty much without even trying, because we just happen to fill the room with bullets really nicely. Then Argus itself needs to die. We're gonna try not to hit the stupid spears, or die. We're so brittle, that almost killed us. But we're also wildly dangerous, but I'm going to need some armor to be able to do anything because that was really close to death. And I think I got hit once. I wasn't really looking that closely, but I'm pretty sure that was one spear that almost killed me. So it's probably time to load up on some shields and pretty much anything I can get. The fireworks really do help a lot because they really, really help expand my damage into a room. I guess the homing bullets also help. That thing actually blew up in a really annoying spot because that's not the most comfortable thing to jump over right now. Several grenades later, we got another half shield and another weapons badge. So my guns are even higher level now, level six. So much beautiful damage. That was a little bit scary for a second as the big thing was hopping toward me, but I'm pretty sure my damage will carry me <laughs> through every room right now. I don't actually know if I could even, uh, whoops. Well, that's fine. As I was saying, I don't know if I could even take another gun right now because I think that's going to make me too brittle. Our damage is more than reasonable, but if we start taking any more damage than we do, we're going to die from literally everything. It is kind of fun, though, that I have $330 that I can't really spend. Probably should have spent it at that coin vendor guy a while back because that was really my only opportunity. And again, stupid. Okay, we could either upgrade our weapon yet again or get alien tech. I think we'll take alien tech. There's a chance you'll fire a heat-seeking bullet. In fact, we might fire a few of them. Look at all the bullets we fire. Oh, here's another gun. We have to. Now even more brittle. <laughs> but now we also fire that thing. So I'd wager Hal here is going to take some wild damage. But so are we, so we gotta be careful how we do this. Hal's already half dead. We gotta finish Hal off like right now. Am I safe here? Managed to get another heart, so we're safe. 
We got a ramming sword. Oh, right. The lasers. Kind of forgot about those. That's really, really gonna work against us in a big way. Uh, okay, so... Ow. That's gonna be a problem. I forgot about the lasers entirely. Okay, two lasers hit us because we're so brittle. That was gonna be such an overpowered run. Look at all of our upgrades. Stupid lasers. That was uneasy.